Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Hunger Troll. Um, tell me showing you how to make a fully legit Pokemon in Pokegen, alright? Pokegen is basically like the new Pokesav, um, except it's a lot more user friendly in my opinion. So, what you want to gonna do is you're gonna want to load your ROM or your save file. Um, mine's on my flashcard, so let me get that. Alright, oh, whoops, wrong one. Alright, so what you're going to want to do at first is, um, you can see all your Pokemon here, but you're not going to want to touch them for right now. What you're going to want to do now in the left hand column is just choose a Pokemon you want. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be doing Rhyperior. Alright, now you can give him a nickname. I'm just going to type in my name, Sam. Or no, no, no. I'm just going to type in Rhyper. Alright, then what you're going to want to do is choose any nature, it doesn't matter, it'll be changed later, most likely, or not, maybe, depending on your PID. Um, I'm going to choose Brave. Happiness, anywhere from 0 to 255. Um, his ability is, uh, one second, let me check. Always have an open, um, an open tab of... Uh, of the Pokemon you're making. His ability is Solid Rock, alright. And you're gonna want to say he came from Platinum, Pearl, or Diamond. Um, you can check that he's shiny. It makes it a bit more difficult to find a PID. I'm just gonna leave that alone. So, now we're gonna go to the Met tab. <clears throat> for game, you're going to choose um, Platinum, Location, um, Daycare Couple, Ball, Pokeball, Level 1, um, and then for the Encounter, you're going to go to Egg, Pal Park, Event, Honey Tree, Shaman, you're going to hit As Egg, Platinum, and then you can choose any location from here at all. Alright. Uh, download link will be provided in the description, by the way. Um, okay. Now you're going to go to stats. Um, you can put the EVs to anything. I like to randomize them at first. Um, and then depending on the EVs, I'll change them. So, looking at Rhyperior's stats. Yeah, let me make so you guys can see it too. Oh. Alright, yeah, yeah. Looking at his base stats, I can see that his strongest stats are attack and defense. So, I'm going to make my attack 252 and defense 252. I'll make my HP 6. Now, I'm also going to make this 31. Oops. Alright, just like that. Uh, now you're going to go to uh, attacks. Um, here, make attacks that he can actually learn. So, Mega Horn, Stone Edge. Let me see what other moves he can learn Rock Wrecker and Earthquake. Rock Wrecker. And earthquake. Alright. Oops, that's changed. Cool. Here you can choose the PP ups if you want them. Um, I don't usually choose them, but anyways. Um, you're not going to really touch this for now. You're going to go to back to main now. And you're going to go to PID. Hit the F button. Um, uncheck the shiny button. Here you can play around with these, but usually I just put it equals on the stats with 31. Um, put a 6 by them. Hit search. Alright, and it found it. So that's the PID. Um, now back here you're going to uh, insert your ID and your secret ID. So one second while I get that. Well, sorry about that. 
Yeah, give me one second while I find. All right. So I typed in that. Um, your ID is uh, just the um, your trainer card number thingy. You can be found in your trainer card. And your secret ID. There's a code finding it. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, now we're gonna hit save file. And now we're gonna go save Pokemon from tabs. I actually have a folder for all my Pokemon files, which is in emulation and Pokemon. Alright. All right, here you are. Yes. Alright. Now with that, there's a program you can download from projectpokemon.org. It's a legal ID checker. It only works from um, up to fourth generation. It only works up to fourth generation, um, but that's not what we're using here, so it's fine. So you're just going to drag your Pokemon file onto it. And as you can see, um, it says um, checksum is valid, Pokemon ID, um, eggs received, the IVs, trainer ID, secret ID, gender, hidden power, fateful encounter, gender check is valid, effort values are or valid. Um, nicknamed yes, hometown Sinnoh, country originated UK or US or Australia, and it's hatched. So there you have it. There is a fully legit Pokemon made in the brand new Pokemon or er, program Pokegen. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, bye.